Hello everyone. Aside from the HTC One M8, as elegant chassis made from one piece of 100 aluminum, there are many similarities between the new HTC flagship and the Nexus 5. So why the huge price difference? Today we are going to take a closer look at the two and compare the HTC One M8 and the Nexus 5. Look about design. Though we can't deny the smooth coolness of the HTC One M8 chassis, the Nexus 5's polycarbonate body makes it a lot lighter than the Android newcomer. On the other hand, the Nexus 5 isn't as fancy as the HTC One, yet it still gives off the impression of good quality. What's more, its matte texture gives it a much better grip than the M8, which is more likely to slide out of the palm of your hand. Look about size. No huge difference here, but the HTC One M8 is a little bigger. It's about 6% longer, 3% wider, and 9% thicker than the Nexus 5. Regarding the weight, the One M8 isn't a ridiculously heavy phone, but it is noticeably heavier. It gives you 23% more heft than the Nexus 5. Build and colors. I don't have a problem with the Nexus 5's matte plastic finish, but there's no doubt that the One M8 has the higher end construction. Its aluminum unibody finish riffs off of the design we saw in last year's One M7. Right now we're looking at three color options for each phone. Though I wouldn't be shocked if we saw a few more One M8 colors roll out later this year, as we saw with the 2013 version of the One. Screen size and resolution is nearly identical. Both phones give you sharp and spacious screens. The differences here are pretty trivial and probably not worth basing your decision on. Both phones also use on-screen navigation keys. So outside of apps that use Android's immersive mode, those virtual buttons will always be camping out at the bottom of your screen, taking up a little real estate. About storage. Internal storage options are even, though the HTC One does also have a micro SD slot on board this time around. What about camera? The Nexus 5 looks better on paper, but the One's larger pixels ultra pixels as HTC likes to call them make it one of the best options for capturing shots in low lit conditions. The One also has an unusually high resolution front facing camera. So if you're into selfies any 16 year old girls in the house, the M8 might be just what the doctor ordered. Like a lot of high end phones from the last 6 months or so. The One M8 lets you shoot slow-mo videos. The One also has a dual LED flash. The One's dual LED flash helps to make your flash photography look more even and colorful, and less washed out. Let's now look about software. Both phones run Android 4.4 KitKat. But they have completely different UIs, including some extra features thrown in on the One. That's all thanks to HTC's Sense UI while the Nexus runs stock Android. Recording the RAM is all tied up, at 2 GB a pop take a C about processor. Performance isn't an issue with either phone, the One M8 has the slightly updated 2014 version of the Nexus 5S Snapdragon 800 processor living inside. The tech specs comparison speaks volumes, for the same characteristics in almost every case, the Nexus 5 is almost two times cheaper than the M8. That being said, we can't crown the last Google smartphone the winner of this smartphone duel just yet. The HTC One M8 offers many functions and extraordinary build quality. In short, if you are looking for the ideal price slash performance smartphone, then you should go for the Nexus 5. But on the other hand, if you are into the sexy HTC One M8 chassis with the seductive feel, then you will see your wallet feeling a lot emptier this month. Both are great phones and have won my heart for the various reasons explained above.